Krishna 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 He Krishna 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 Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Shri Namaha Om Shri Sarabhyaya Namaha Shri Sarabhyaya Namaha Om Shri Sarabhyaya Namaha Mukham Karoti Vasalam Pangom Langayate Girim Yatkripa Atmaham Bande Shri Varam Dinatharanam Yatkripa Atmaham Bande Shri Varam Dinatharanam Hare Krishna <clears throat> I would like to welcome everyone, especially newcomers, quite a few. The body is visiting from some Chirala no? and other places. Yeah. <clears throat> we continue to read from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto number 1, Chapter 4, entitled The Appearance of Sri Narada. And today, text number one four. Sutta Uvacha Sutta Uvacha Dwapare Samanu Prapte Tritiye Yuga Pariyaye Jataha Parasharad Yogi Vasavyam Kalaya Harehe Sutta Uvasa Vapare Samanu Prapte Tritye Yuga Tritye Yuga Pariyaye Jata Parasarad Yogi Vasavyam Kalaya Harehe Sutta Uvasa Dvapare Samanu Prapte Tritiye Yuga Padyaye Jata Parasarad Yogi Vasavyam Kalaya Harehe Sutta Uvasa Dvapare Samanu Prapte Tritiye Yuga Padyaye Jata Prasarad Yogi Vasavyam Kalaya Harehe Sutaha Sutta Goswami Uvacha said Dvapare in the second millennium Samanu Prapte on the advent of Tritiye third Yuga, Yuga, Millennium, millennium Yuga Yuga. Pariyaye, Pariyaye, in the place of, in the place of 
Jataha was begotten. Was begotten. Parasarat by Parasara. Yogi, the great sage. Vasavyam in the womb of the daughter of Vasu. In the womb of the daughter of Vasu. Vasu Yoka Kamaya Targamunandu. Kalaya in the plenary portion. In the plenary portion. Answer Bhumna. Harehe of the personality of Godhead. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Ki. Sutta Goswami said, when the second millennium overlapped the third, the great sage Vyasadeva was born to Parashara in the womb of Satyabhati, the daughter of Vasu. Report. There is a chronological order of the four millenniums, namely Satya, Dwapara, Treta, and Kali. But sometimes there is overlapping. During the regime of Vaivasvatamanu, there was an overlapping of the 28th round of the four millenniums. And the third millennium appeared prior to the second. In that particular millennium, Lord Sri Krishna also descends and because of this there was some particular alteration. <clears throat> the mother of the great sage was Satyabhati, the daughter of the Vasu fisherman and the father was a great Parasara Muni. <laughs> that is the history of Vyasadeva's birth. <laughs> Every millennium is divided into three periods and in each period and each period is called a sandhya. Vyasadeva appeared in the third sandhya of that particular age. <clears throat> so after <clears throat> in the previous verses after Shuka, uh, Shonakarishi uh, speaks and welcomes and invites Sutta Goswami to uh, relate <clears throat> the Srimad Bhagavatam here should, uh, Sutta Goswami begins to speak. <coughs> uh, 
And the first point that he is making uh, is quite interesting. <laughs> uh, he is explaining how actually we all hear the uh, division of the ages as being Satya, Trita, Dwapara and Kali. But here we are being told that actually this is an irregular uh, <clears throat> chronology. The real chronology, the real system, the natural uh, <clears throat> division that is there and we can easily understand by the very name Satya, then two is Dwapara, Treta is Sri and Kali is the fourth one. So it, it means that normally, na normally after uh, <coughs> Dwapara Yuga is Treta Yuga, not Kali Yuga. It, it means, huh? it means that normally after Dwapara Yuga is Treta Yuga, <coughs> not Kali Yuga. <coughs> but <coughs> here it is explained that actually uh, <coughs> because this particular uh, <coughs> Dwapara Yuga, this particular uh, period in history <clears throat> is where is when the Lord Lord Krishna personally appears some alterations that are not so e not so easy to understand but some alterations or some changes in the yugas take place and it it specifically mentions which millennium also uh, <coughs> <coughs> In other words, there is a very uh, systematic order which is, of course, created by the Supreme Lord in terms of when <clears throat> the different millenniums uh, occur. Uh, it's uh, the history, Vedic history is known as uh, cyclic, comes in circles. It begins, goes around, and again starts again. As opposed to the modern understanding, contemporary understanding, which is actually the Christian understanding of time that is called linear. There is a beginning, one creation, only one creation, and <clears throat> it stays for a certain period of time. If during that time you don't become saved, you are doomed for eternity. There's no other, yeah. So that is the uh, <clears throat> one of the many attractions and much more logical also that we find in the Vedic culture. The time is explained <clears throat> as we can see every day also. The sun rises every day. It's not only rising once. Again, it will rise the next day. Cyclic like that, yeah. <laughs> Vaidika 
ప్రారంభం అయ్యి మళ్ళీ అంతమై మళ్ళీ అక్కడి నుంచే మళ్ళీ ప్రారంభం అంటే సత్యం అనేది ప్రారంభమై కలిగి అనుకుంటే మళ్ళీ సత్యం అనేది ప్రారంభం అవుతుంది సో ఇది వలయ ఆకారంలో ఉంటుంది మన సమయం అంతా కూడా మనం చూసినట్టయితే మనం ఉదయం సూర్యం ఉదయిస్తాడు అస్తమిస్తాడు మళ్ళీ రేపు ఉదయానికి మళ్ళీ సూర్యం ఉదయిస్తాడు కూడా కానీ ఇప్పుడున్న ప్రస్తుత కాలంలో మనం ఆచరించే ఏదైతే పంచిక ఉందో ఏదైతే మనం క్యాలెండర్ పాటిస్తామో అది మనకి క్రిస్టియన్లు ఇచ్చిన ఇది అనమాట క్రిస్టియన్ పద్ధతి పద్ధతి ప్రకారం ఏంటి దానికి ఒక ప్రారంభం ఉంది అది ఒక ఒక గీతగా ఒక ప్రారంభం ఉంటుంది తర్వాత అంతం ఉంటుంది ఈ అంతం లోపు ఎవరైతే భగవంతుణ్ణి ఆ సాక్షాత్కరించారో వాళ్ళు శాశ్వతంగా నరక పాలు ఉంటారు ఇంకా మళ్ళీ అవకాశం ఉండదు అని కృష్ణుడు చెప్తారు కానీ మన వైరిక సంస్కృతి అలా కాదు దాని ఇది ఒక వలయాకారంలో ఉంటుంది అని చెప్పండి and that is one of many reasons why modern scientists they cannot figure out history they have all all kinds of theories that are constantly changing as to when civilization began on this earth anduke ippudanna shastrajnulaki anta kuda ee ardham kaani tikamaka unde paristha anamata endukante itihasam ఎప్పుడు ఇలా ప్రారంభమైంది ఇవన్నీ చెప్పి ఇలా ఎన్నో వివాహాల కోసం జరిగిందంటే వాళ్ళకి అర్థం కాని విషయం సో వాళ్ళు ఎన్నెన్నో ప్రతిపాదనలు చేస్తుంటారు ఇతిహాసం అంటే ఇది అది అని కానీ అది ఎప్పుడు మారుతూ వస్తుంది మనం చూస్తున్నాం ఈ ఇతిహాసకారు అంతా కూడా వాళ్ళు చెప్పేవన్నీ కూడా ఎప్పుడు మారుతున్నాయి సో హియర్ బికాస్ వీఆర్ ఆల్సో వీ ఆల్సో లెర్న్ ఫ్రమ్ శాస్త్ర దాట్ although there are so many incarnations who appear actually millennium after millennium, millennium as krishna explains in the bhagavad gita uh, yuge yuge uh, millennium after millennium but it is very very rare that the supreme personality of god had himself krishna in his original transcendental transcendental form very very rare that he appears సో ప్రతి యుగంలో కూడా భగవంతుడు అవతరిస్తుంటారు సంభవం యుగ యుగ అని చెప్పడం జరిగింది కానీ ఇది విశేషంగా ఏంటంటే కృష్ణుడు సాక్షాత్తుగా తానే దేవాదేవుడైన వారు అవతారంగా ఒక వేరే అవతారంగా కాదు తానే ప్రత్యక్షంగా రావడం అనేది ఇట్ ఈస్ యాజ్ వేర్ యాజ్ యునో ఆర్ ఆనరబుల్ నరేంద్ర మోడీ మోడీ కమింగ్ టు దిస్ సెంటర్ but if he, if he were to come we would make all kinds of changes and arrangements in all likelihood idi enta arudaithe aaru enta arudaina vishayam ante narendra modi marka kendra ki raavadam ani man uchukaltam so alanti arudaina vishayam anamata so ikkada aayi vastunnaru ante mana em chestam ikkada enno marku chethu chestam anni kuda enno vere vere ga airport cheyadam cheyalasu we see uh, anyone who goes to the airport or whenever some great personality goes somewhere they there's always special arrangements that are made man ekadaina pedda pedda man pedda ga peru kunna vaalu vyaktulte ekada airport akka chaala vere vere airport chestuntaru enno sannahala airport chestuntaru whenever there is a prime minister or president of a country announcing that uh, he will visit another country uh, he will uh, <clears throat> because they do this all the time then they announce it normally weeks if not months ahead of time so that people who will receive him can make all kinds of arrangements and preparations pradhanamantro president or rashtrapato vere deshan velthunte enti vaallu konni velalasuste enno sannaha cheyali దానికి నెల క్రితమో లేకపోతే కొన్ని వారాల క్రితమో వాడు చెప్పకపోతే ఆ సన్నాహం జరగదు అందుకే వాడికి చాలా సమయం ఇవ్వడం జరుగుతుంది ఆ సన్నాహం సన్నాహం చేసి వాళ్ళు ఆహ్వానిస్తారు దిస్ వాస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ డ్యూరింగ్ షిల ప్రాపాస్ టైం ఇది షిల ప్రాపాస్ ఉన్నప్పుడు కూడా జరుగుతుండే బికాజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ మోస్ట్ ది బోడీస్ ఆ డిడ్ నాట్ గెట్ దట్ క్లోజ్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఆర్ అసోసియేషన్ అండ్ దే వుడ్ hear about shri prabhupad learn about shri prabhupad uh, through his books or through but sometimes it was announced okay prabhupad is coming to our center it was very rare uh, 
and <clears throat> any devotee at that time will confirm that whenever Srila Prabhupada would visit one new place, <clears throat> Srila Prabhupada himself would remark that, you know, they would repaint the whole building. There was fresh paint. It was, you could not touch your hand on the, <laughs> on the, um, on, on the wall, actually. So in other words, <clears throat> whenever there's a great personality, it is natural. It is very natural. So what to speak of the greatest of all personalities, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself, when He descends in the material world, these kind of special arrangements or alterations are made for Him to execute His mission. Yeah. <coughs> Yes. So, because the Lord is <coughs> the creator, uh, maintainer, and destroyer of this material world, Aham Sarvasya Prabhu. Therefore, he controls <clears throat> all of the different energies because he's the source of those energies and he controls all the systems that he himself has created. <clears throat> Yes. So therefore, uh, <coughs> in order for uh, the Lord to appear, uh, in the last millennium means in Dwapada Yuga which is uh, in the looking at the bigger picture is very recently 5,000 years ago uh, the Lord allowed for these alterations to be made so that he uh, <coughs> would uh, <coughs> so that he would appear yeah <clears throat> so, here it is also mentioned how the <clears throat> great personality incarnation of Godhead, Srila Vyasadeva, he also made his appearance at in that same uh, period <clears throat> uh, which is described here actually in the purport something very interesting as well the concept of sandhya concept of sandhya so here it mentioned that Srila Vyasadeva appeared in the third sandhya just like every day there are three sandhyas those who are initiated brahmanas uh, are supposed to be more conscious of the sandhyas because that is when one is chanting Gayatri Mantra. <laughs> but everyone should be familiar with sandhya. There is the, 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 there is a percentage of the day that is designated for sandhya. Uh, <clears throat> I forget the exact percentage. <clears throat> sandhya means that period between night and day. So there's a sandhya in the early morning, one at midday, and one when the, when the sun is setting. 
in the same similar way that there's sandhya every day within every millennium there's sandhya also mana elaithe trisandhya manu telusukovali avagan kalpinchukovali pratyekanga brahma dikshisna vaadi trisandhya ni baaga vaadu tistaru endukante aa sandhya lone vaadu gayatri cheskovali manaki roju ki moodu sandhyalu untayi udayam sandha ante mana suryodayaniki munduga vachedi తర్వాత సూర్యుడు మన తలపైన ఉన్నప్పుడు మధ్యాహ్నం ఇంకా సూర్యుడు అస్తమిస్తున్నప్పుడు అదొక సంధ్య అది ప్ర అది దానికి ఒక ప్రత్యేకమైన స సమయం ఉంది దానికి నాకు గుర్తులేదు ఆ సమయం ఉంటుంది అనమాట ఆ సమయంలో అది చాలా విశేషమైన సమయం అలాగే ఎలాగైతే రోజులో మూడు సంధ్యలు ఉంటాయో అలాగే ఈ ఈ యుగానికి యుగాని మధ్య ఒక సంధ్య కాలం ఉంటుంది ఆ సంధ్య కాలంలోనే వేద వేదరాత్రి వారు అవతరించారు the closer we live with nature the closer we live in harmony with nature we will know about these sandhyas and we will mold our lives around those sandhyas for example in the evening the third sandhya is when the sun sets so if you observe the in the animal kingdom from the time the sun is setting and for a period of approximately 2 hours within that 2 hour period all the animals they get ready to sleep but there's another kind of animal modern animal who gets ready to uh start his night activities which is unnatural and therefore when we uh <coughs> no longer follow or respect the natural arrangement of nature we create all kinds of disturbances in our personal lives and in general society as well so mana jeevitanni ee prakruti ke sahajanga mana jeevana saarishthunte manaki ee jarutana vishayanni koncham ardham avutadu udaharanaki moodo sandhya sayam sandhya samayamlo aa rendu gantala samayamlo pakshulu jantulu అటు తిరిగిన అన్ని కూడా వాడి గూడి చేరుకొని నేతరికి సన్నాహాలు చేసుకున్నాడు కానీ ఇంకొక జంతు ఉన్నాడు అదే సమయంలో వాడంతా కూడా మంచిగా చక్కగా ముస్తాబు అయ్యి రాత్రి కార్యాలకు సిద్ధం అవుతుంది ఎవరు మనిషి కాబట్టి మన ప్రకృతికి దగ్గరగా మన జీవన సాధిస్తే ఇవన్నీ కూడా మనకి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇన్ విలేజెస్ జూరింగ్ ద థర్డ్ సంధ్య and those who are designated to light the lamps they start cleaning the bulbs they start getting the oil they prepare for the uh night time which will be dark isn't it so in a similar way on the spiritual level uh these three sandhya periods are meant to be uh periods of spiritual practices because during the sandhya period all kinds of changes take place and it's mentioned how <clears throat> in the third sandhya that is when lord shiva's so many assistants start wandering around the ghosts we can speak we can speak about ghosts during the day we should not speak about ghosts at night time but anyways yeah they అందుకే మనం ప్రకృతికి సహజంగా జీవిస్తుంటే మనకి ఇవన్నీ కూడా అర్థం అవుతుంటాయి మనకి కావాలి అందుకే ఈ మూడు సంధ్యల్ని మనం బాగా జాగ్రత్తగా అర్థం చేసుకోవాలి ఆ సంధ్యల్లో మనం ఎక్కువగా ఆధ్యాత్మిక కార్యాలు చేయడానికి ప్రయత్నం చేయాలి అది చాలా ఆధ్యాత్మిక ఉన్నది చాలా అనుకూలంగా ఉంటాయి మరియు సాయం సందర్భాలు మనం ఇంకా జాగ్రత్తగా ఉండాలంటే ఎందుకంటే శివుడు శివ పరివారం ఆ సమయంలో చాలా జాగ్రత్తగా ఎంతో బలం పుంజుకొని తిరుగుతుంటారు అని వాడు భూతాలు ప్రేతాలతో తిరుగుతుంటారు శివుడు వారు అయితే భూతాల గురించి మనం ఉదయం మాట్లాడుతుంది సాయంత్రం మాట్లాడుతుంది yes it means that during these sandhya periods there are certain activities that should not be performed ఈ సంధ్య సమయంలో కొన్ని కార్యాలు నిషిద్ధమైన ఆ సమయంలో జరపకూడదు so therefore when this knowledge is unknown when people don't follow this natural sequence of uh, how time is <coughs> uh <clears throat> divided uh within days then one's life actually becomes very unregulated 
unregulated. Sandhya is to help us to regulate our life. <coughs> so it is during that third Sandhya <coughs> at the end of the Dwapara Yuga that both Srila Vyasadeva and Lord Krishna himself appears. <coughs> Yes. Um, <clears throat> so in this way we can see how uh, Sutta Goswami um, before speaking he puts he gives a little background information puts things in perspective uh, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> in this way such personalities as Sutta Goswami were very well versed, very well aware of uh, how the time factor is um, <coughs> exercising its influence in the world. Uh, <coughs> So, <clears throat> just one last point. During Sandhya periods, there are many changes that are, take pla that are taking place. Very often many disturbances. This also explains, we are still now, we are at the beginning. We are in the Sandhya period of Kali Yuga. And it also mentions in the Shastra, uh, <clears throat> uh, when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would appear to actually begin this uh, <clears throat> very unique, again another very unique <coughs> period in this particular Kali Yuga because actually when Krishna appears when special arrangement is made for Krishna to appear immediately after Krishna appears or soon after Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appears in the same way that Krishna appears only once in the day of Lord Brahma, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also appears only once in the day of Lord Brahma. So it is very, very rare. <coughs> So, the more we understand this, the more we will <coughs> understand our great fortune in, in being born at this particular time. Yes. So personalities like Sri Vyasadeva, they are known as Sri Kalagya. They know all of these, they know the past, present and the future. And therefore, anyone who studies Shastra can have some understanding of, especially those who study astrology, for example, they can predict so many things. So, so those who are serious about studying Shastra, those who are fortunate to start their Vedic education in Gurukula, maybe one day they can become Trikalagya also. <laughs> <coughs> yes. 
Nowadays, practically, there are no, no one is Trikalagya. And most people are not even Ekakalagya. <laughs> no, don't, don't even know what's going on today. Yes. Okay, some questions or comments on this? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, the evening Sunday is called also Goduli Veda, that uh, when cows come back, the ah, pasture is raised. That yes. is also indication of. Yes. That <clears throat> dust from the uh, hooves of the cows <clears throat> is meant to protect, is very protective, yeah, right. Uh, so it's, yeah, very significant that it is happening at that time, huh, at the end of the day. Yeah. Yes, Krishna, he is the supreme scientist. He has built in his systems all kinds of remedies and, uh, you know, giving protection. Uh, but when we don't follow that system, then we no longer remain protected. Krishna, I scientist. Yes. Also nowadays evening is a time of a lot of pollution coming from regions. Yes. Also, yes. Petrol duty. Different, yeah. <laughs> Different kind of, yeah. The opposite and very heavy, yeah. Okay. okay. Why Shiva chooses that evening Sanjay only to move this association? Why not? Why he moves at that time? <clears throat> because most of his associates are in that mood and mentality. Yeah. So, in the case of Samyan law, Samogana Prabhu is and <clears throat> you know, the laws of karma are very intricate, so <clears throat> it is usually <clears throat> in the evenings that uh, people who are, when, whenever someone is not strong in mind, in spirit, if one is not <clears throat> <clears throat> to be strong in mind and spirit actually means to uh, have clarity of thought. To have clarity of thought is only possible when we <clears throat> have transcendental knowledge. So those who don't have transcendental knowledge, therefore those who are weak in their mind, weak in their clarity of thought, <clears throat> due to the law of karma, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> In those less auspicious moments, they can, uh, that's the laws of nature, they are attacked by such spirits. Uh, Weak-minded persons can easily become haunted by ghosts and evil spirits. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a time where people <coughs> get their karmic reaction by uh, being possessed or influenced by such evil spirits. But during this time, devotees are 
and Gaurarati. So those who don't attend Gaurarati, be cautious. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yes, yes. His comment is, uh, Krishna is like Surya and uh, Mahaprabhu is like Chandra. And in between, to give knowledge, uh, Vedavas came in Sanya. Where did this is coming from? Where? <laughs> <laughs> it's connecting with yesterday's verse of inspiration. <clears throat> Krishna came during Sandhya. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, we can close here. Any announcements? Yeah. Jai Gnatarasma Bhagavatam Meki Jai Sri La Prabhupada Ki Jai Samasa Gaur Bhaktavrinda Ki Gaur Pimanandi Hare Krishna